Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Apps Portals Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduk, and this is tip number 60, Web Form Sessions. Web Forms allow you to build complex, multi-page, multi-entity, wizard-style forms for your Power Apps Portal. In this tip, I'll cover the entity used to keep track of a user's progress, Web Form Sessions. As a user progresses through your web form, their status is recorded in a related entity called Web Form Sessions. This allows users to continue the form from where they left off. The Web Form Session entity tracks information such as the current step and the current step index, the ID and type of the current record being acted upon, the contact record of the user, or in the case of an anonymous user, the anonymous identification tracking code, the IP address of the user, as well as the step history. You can find active web form sessions on the Sessions tab on the web form. When a web form has been completely filled out, the associated session is deactivated, but it can still be retrieved using an advanced find. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Apps Portals tip number 60 on web form sessions useful.